Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to quickly show you how you can configure VNC in a Toshiba Studio. For this exercise, I'm going to use the Toshiba eStudio 2525AC. What is VNC? VNC is an open source application that provides, uh, that allows you to connect to another computer remotely. In this case, we're going to use it to remote into the, uh, the front panel, the home panel of the printer itself what you see here in this picture. The first thing we need to do is to find the IP address of the printer. If you know the IP address, uh, you can always skip this step. Then we're going to configure VNC on the printer. We're going to install VNC on the PC, on my PC, and then we're going to I'm going to connect directly to the panel. That'll be the demonstration for today. So let's get into this. So we're jumping into the first step, which is finding the IP address of your printer. For that, we're going to use a little app called Advanced IP Scanner. All you need to do is go to Google and search for Advanced IP Scanner, and it's going to bring you to this page here. Click on Download. I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. Click on Download, and then once you download, search for it in the download folder if that's where your uh, setup is find it there i just moved it to my desktop for easy presentation so i'm going to double click on it and you'll see something that uh, it's uh, this is the beauty of this uh, little app that you do not have to install it it's not necessary you can run it okay so i'm going to run it and once i run it i'm going to it will uh, automatically identify your network right um, and then click uh, on scan and wait. Uh, As so you can see, the first thing that it identifies was my printer right there. This is the M uh, multifunction printer right there. And then I'm going to expand it. And when you see here, this is the access to the printer. If you double click on this link, it's going to take you uh, straight to your printer. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I already have it configured on my browser. I am just have it right here. I'm just going to click on top access and I'm going to access the uh, print directly. All right, so this is the IP 50 as you uh, saw here. This is the IP address. Uh, if you don't want to access it through here, all you have to remember is the IP address. Enter the IP address on the browser and then it'll take you directly to the printer. Of course, you'll need to log in because this is for this is the general view for any anybody can see this site here, this uh, page here. But if you want to configure the printer, you need to log in. So I'm going to click on login. I'm going to enter my um, user ID and password. If you do not remember the password or you have never set up password, uh, it's usually one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. If you do not, if that doesn't work for you, then you will have to contact. Uh, the printer, the service provider to provide you with the address of the printer. In my case, I know the uh, the password, so I logged in and I'm in as an administrator. Now, uh, as you can see here on this uh, panel, this is where you uh, provide, uh, do all the maintenance and set up, et cetera, et cetera. So let's find uh, VNC for a second. Now, you go to setup. You go to network, click on network, and it's going to open up this page here. At the very bottom here, left side, you see VNC settings. Click on VNC, it's going to be disabled. Change it to enabled. And then it's going to ask you to enter the password. You will not be able to use VNC if you do not have a password. So the old password, remember, if you don't, if you have never entered a password for this printer, uh, you have to enter one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and then enter the new password if you want to change it just for VNC. This password will only work for VNC, okay? So enter the new password that you want to use, Enter the uh, uh, re-enter the password, and save. It's uh, When you do save, it's going to ask you to confirm, and then you say yes, and that's it. That's how you configure, all right? So this is uh, the end of step number two. For step number three, which is the installation of VNC on your PC, we're going to uh, then go into this site here, Tight VNC. That's the one we're going to use, Tight VNC. I'm going to leave you all these links on the video so you can download it directly. So depending on your uh, computer architecture, you select 30, 64 or 32. Then click on download. I'm not going to download it because I already have it download. Download and then uh, proceed to installed. 
OK, I'm going to proceed to install Tide VNC. I'm just going to right click and then click on install. It's going to come to this window here. Click Next. Accept the terms and conditions. Click Next. Select Typical. Right. Next. Installed. All right. So you will require a password. Remember the password that you enter in the printer. Just enter the password here. Confirm the password. All right. Click OK. And that's it. And that is installed. And then um, if to find it, type uh, uh, right, um, click on Start and type um, uh, Tight VNC. And it's going to show there uh, Tight VNC. So look for uh, Tight v, uh, VNC Viewer. Right click on it if you want and then uh, ping it to taskbar right here. Okay, so let's go back and, uh, and, and, and start this application. So I'm going to then uh, invoke VNC. I'm just gonna open VNC from this uh, uh, shortcut that I put in my taskbar. Uh, my IP address, of course, is 50, right? So I'm just gonna click connect. I'm going to enter the password that I configure in the printer. And this is how you connect to the Toshiba front panel. Uh, from here, you can do a lot of things. Uh, of course, you can see this little wheel here. You click on it. It's going to have to enter the, the Toshiba printer password, uh, which I'm going to do for just uh, entertainment. I'm just going to enter it. I'm just going to click OK and OK. And I'm in. I can configure, you know, themes, buttons, etc., etc. All right. So I can do this remotely. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please give me um, a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have yourself a great day.